Hey, so I recently had my 2009 Skidoo MXZ 800R P Tech uh, engine rebuilt because uh, she, uh, well, I got 5.1 miles on it last year and she blew up. So got a fresh engine on it, but uh, these 09s, they don't have any temp gauge, they just have the dummy light in the dash. And uh, I don't know how reliable that is, and I don't feel comfortable relying on that, especially if I'm, you know, 50 miles from home. So I am going to put in a one of these COSO thermometers. Um, and they come with, uh, oh, where is it? There it is. They come with a little one eighth inch pipe sending unit. And uh, I didn't want to take the original sending unit out of the sled. Uh, I do still want the audible beeps, you know, and the lights on the dash. Um, and I was hoping to do this so that I could have both. So what I found is um, this particular engine, once you take the, the clutch cover off here and the belt cover, you can get in here and you'll see that there is a carburetor heat hose right here that runs down right to here. I took it off. That's it right there. And uh, oops. so I just took it off and I'm going to thread out that nipple. It's an eighth inch pipe nipple. And I'm going to retrofit this on here. Hopefully I have enough room. There's the, uh, uh, the shaft for the, for the track drive there. So I'm going to try and thread this in. I'm going to put the nipple um, probably out the side like this, try to get it that way, and the sending unit out the back so that I can, I can uh, have enough clearance to bend the wire a little bit over. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how well it works. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. If I don't, they do make smaller unions. I, I could probably shave off maybe a maybe a half of an inch. Um, we'll have to see. If not, uh, maybe I can just run another line with another nipple, you know. But I'm going to try this, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So, All right, so I had to... Uh, uh, redesign or rethink how that T was going to fit into the the block so I now have the the union the male to male union coming out the bottom of the T and I'll have the sending unit coming out one side and the nipple coming out the other side but what I'm doing right now is I'm I've got about one crank left and I want the sending unit coming out the bottom side. So I'm tightening it down right now because of the space limitations. And then I will turn the entire unit as one until it's down and it should be good. So I will be back. All right, so now I got it turned. So the sending unit is down. I'm going to put the nipple in next. All right, so I got the, the nipple on there, and all I gotta do is reroute the carb heater hose back into its holder right there in that hole, and then trim it so that it fits on the on the barb there, and then I will route the wiring for the gauge. And we'll fill her up with antifreeze because I lost quite a bit. And then we'll have to burp it and fill it up some more. All right. So the original hose 
came with this chintzy little clamp on um, hose clamp so I just went in my toolbox and got a got a regular threaded um, screw type hose clamp I feel a little bit more confident that that's gonna hold better than this so just a something to point out so <clears throat> I ran mine along the bottom here ran ran the wire along the bottom I was gonna run it up here and up into the top but I realized it went right past the coil pack and the plug wires and I didn't want to cause any interference at all so I just ran it across the bottom I ran it through and then and then I'm just gonna run it up the steering column and out here and mount it right there so I just got the wires ran up through the column after I went across and I went ahead and I tied it into my my helmet heated helmet shield circuit uh, plug here um, I knew that that has 12 volts only when it powers on and it is grounded to the frame so that's what I did I also just got done burping the sled uh, you'll have to go online and find instructions on how to do that I'm not going to go into that here but uh, let's go ahead and start it up and see how it looks With this mod, I'm able to still utilize the gauges on the dash, the the warning gauges, the warning dummy lights, and uh, also got myself a digital gauge so I can keep a closer eye on it. And that's about it. I'm gonna button her up. And thanks for watching. Hope it helps you out. Um, last look at that. Have a good day.